Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a, b, and n are positive integers. If the greatest common divisor of a and b is equal to 1, then the greatest common divisor of a to the power of n and b to the power of n is equal to 1. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use some facts regarding prime numbers. Here's the first one. Every integer greater than 1 is a prime number, or a product of prime numbers. Here's the second fact regarding prime numbers. If p is a prime number, such that p is a divisor of a product of a list of integers, then p is a divisor of at least one of these integers that's being multiplied. Okay, so now let's get to proving this theorem. To start off the proof, let's give ourselves three positive integers, a, b, and n. And with these three positive integers, we want to prove if this is true, then this is true. So let's suppose that this is true. The whole goal from here is to prove that the greatest common divisor of a to the n and b to the n is equal to 1. Now for convenience, let's denote this quantity by the letter g. So really, we want to show that g is equal to 1. Well, let's assume for a contradiction, we instead have that g is not equal to 1. Well, we know that the greatest common divisor is a positive integer. So g must be greater than or equal to 1. But since g is not equal to 1, we must have that g is greater than 1. So g is an integer greater than 1. But by our first fact, we know that every integer greater than 1 is a prime or a product of primes. Therefore, g is a prime or a product of primes. And what this means is, is that g has at least one prime divisor. And I'll call that prime divisor p. Now, since g is the greatest common divisor of a to the n and b to the n, of course, g is a divisor of a to the n and b to the n. And since the divisibility relation is transitive, well, since p is a divisor of g and g is a divisor of a to the n, these two facts tell us that p is a divisor of a to the n. Similarly, since p is a divisor of g and g is a divisor of b to the n, these two facts tell us that p is a divisor of b to the n. But with these two facts, we can now apply fact number two. Notice in this first divisibility relation, p is a divisor of a product of n integers. In this case, all integers in the list are the same number a. Well, the conclusion is that p is a divisor of at least one of these integers in the product. Therefore, p must be a divisor of a. In a similar way, we obtain that p must be the divisor of b. So we see that p is a common divisor of a and b. But since 1 is the greatest common divisor of a and b, 1 must be greater than or equal to p. So p is less than or equal to 1, and since p is a prime number, this means that p is a prime number less than or equal to 1. But there are no prime numbers less than or equal to 1, so we've reached a contradiction. Our assumption that g is not equal to 1 led us to a contradiction, so we must instead have that g is equal to 1. In other words, the greatest common divisor of a to the n and b to the n is equal to 1. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.